Echelon sent out a firmware update recently that stops you from being able to use your bicycle the way that you want to use it unless you connect to their server. They stopped you from being able to use third-party applications, and surprise, surprise, they offer subscriptions. So if you want to be able to use it again, you can pay for a subscription to their particular service because you sure as shit are not using it with anybody else's. This comes from Roberto Viola. On September 10, 2020, I began building QZ, an application born from a simple idea. Open up closed fitness hardware and make it work with the platforms people actually love. Swift, Peloton, Kinomap, and more. Back then, Echelon devices, bikes, treadmills, and rowers were locked to their own proprietary app. You bought the hardware, but the experience is fully controlled by the company, and that didn't sit right with me. A better bike thanks to QZ. QZ started by adding compatibility with Echelon bikes, but I didn't stop there. I added auto resistance, letting users enjoy full integration with Zwift or Peloton, sometimes with a smoother experience than Peloton Bike Plus itself. Then came Echelon Rowers, Treadmills. QZ, which is his application, became a bridge between lockdown devices and the open fitness ecosystem. For five years, it worked perfectly. QZ helped people get more out of their hardware. And ironically, it helped Echelon sell tens of thousands of bikes. I myself recommended Echelon as the best indoor bike on the market precisely because it works so well with QZ. That's when everything changed. Without warning, Echelon pushed a firmware update. It didn't just upgrade features, it locked down the entire device. From now on, bikes, treadmills, mills and rowers must connect to Echelon servers just to boot. Here's how it works. On startup, the device must log into Echelon servers. The server sends back a temporary rotating unlock key. And without this handshake, the device is completely bricked. No manual workout, no Bluetooth pairing, no nothing. The server-based lockout creates three serious problems. No internet, no workout. Even basic offline usage is impossible. Why don't you think about this? This is an exercise bicycle that sits in your home. And if it doesn't connect to the internet, it doesn't work properly. This is not the world we signed up for when we agreed to let technology enter our homes. QZ was built to give users freedom and compatibility. My request to Echelon, I'm not asking for open source or deep level access, I ask for a basic fallback. Let the device send encrypted data locally, even without internet. That way, users retain basic control, and devices won't become useless if servers vanish. Sadly, this isn't new. The tech industry is full of stories where devices die because cloud servers were turned off, and I mean, I could read you a list from now until the end of time, and this video would be two hours long. What adds insult to injury is that when you read their FAQ, they advertise as a device that gives you the flexibility to use the software and devices that you want. Our goal is to develop the next generation of stationary bikes while giving you, your family, and friends the flexibility to use your favorite devices to enjoy the optimal fitness experience. Tell me more about flexibility when you push a firmware update to Facebook's devices that forces them to connect to your server before they can do anything. It just so happens to disable their ability to connect to anything else, but at least they can pay you for a subscription. I'm tired of this shit. I'd like to start doing something about it, and we are. We're documenting every case of a company doing this. We're pushing back against it. We're working on the legislative front, cultural front, and regulatory front. Fulu Foundation is going to offer a bounty of $20,000 to the first person who repairs this issue. And I call this a repair because I believe that the firmware update that they pushed out breaks your bike. You bought the bike with the ability to use QZ. Check. Their FAQ says that they value you having the flexibility to use the devices of your choosing. Check. The firmware update no longer allows you to use the devices of your choosing. Check. It's a bug. Reverse engineering. Notwithstanding the provisions of subsection A1A, a person who has lawfully obtained the right to use a copy of a computer program may circumvent a technological measure that effectively controls access to a particular portion of that program for the sole purpose of identifying and analyzing those elements of the program that are necessary to achieve our interoperability of an independently created computer program with other programs that has not been previously readily available to the person engaging in the circumvention to the extent that any such facts of identification do not constitute infringement under this title. Interoperability. You purchase the product because the product worked with QZ. All of your friends told you this product works with QZ. It worked with QZ when you used it. It worked with QZ when you bought it, and now it doesn't. Computer programs that are contained in and control the functioning of a lawfully acquired device that is primarily designed for the use by consumers when circumvention is a necessary step to allow the diagnosis, maintenance, or repair of such a device and is not accomplished for the purpose of gaining access to other copyrighted works. Repair. It worked with QZ before. It doesn't work with QZ now. It's broken. If somebody comes up with a repair that allows the bike to work with applications like QZ the way it did before, a $20,000 bounty is for you. Email bounty at fulu.foundation with your findings. I look forward to hearing from you. I pay my debts. When BWE was screwing people out of their software, I made a bounty offer. And I paid on that bounty offer. I will pay on this one as well. Every single day I come out here and I tell you how you're losing. You've lost your rights. You've lost the ability to do what you want, what you bought and paid for. This company took that away from you. And at some point, I realized that people are just going to be blackpilled and give up. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to give you some fan spin. Fan spin is the banner on my channel because I used to have this joke when I was fixing boards. I would see the fan spin and I would go, ah. 
it's exciting. Even if the screen doesn't come on, even if it doesn't boot, even if it doesn't post, even if nothing works on that board whatsoever, just seeing the fan spin when it didn't spin before gives me that little kick of dopamine and excitement that I actually did something. It makes me feel like that I have the ability to win. And we need to start racking up small victories. I've been in contact with somebody who's very close to winning the future home bounty, and I hope that he does. And when I can announce that, I'd like to be able to show you all that you won, that somebody tried to take something away from you and he gave it back. The, it's kind of like with, with, with rats. There's this idea that with, if, if a big rat is playing with a little rat, if the big rat always wins when they're play fighting, the little rat just stops playing. He gives up. And I feel like what I've been doing to all of you, I've been conditioning you to be the little rat. Every single day I come out here and I talk to you about a piece of hardware or software that's been taken away from you. We document it in consumerrights.wiki. We try to push back against it. But does that really matter if at the end of the day, I just have a giant list of all the people who've screwed you over? I want you to actually have a victory. And I'm trying things out. I'm, I'm going to be experimenting here to try to get that snowball rolling down the hill. I don't want you all to feel like losers every single day. I don't want you to feel like you lost access to what you bought and paid for, and there's nothing you can do about it. Let's try to start racking up some small victories. I get it. If I was going on Indeed or Monster.com and I wanted to hire a reverse engineering firm, I'd have to add another zero to these bounties to make it worthwhile. And I understand that. I'll be honest with you. 100%. I'm really hoping that the people out there that have an IQ that's twice mine, that are watching this every single day, that have the ability to do that shit, that are ideologically driven to give people back what they bought and paid for, see this and are like, you know what, I was kind of going to do that anyway, but fine, fuck it, and get pushed over the edge. Just being real with you. I want to try and turn this into something real, and I want to try to turn this into something that's sustainable into the future. I'm going to be working on that. In the time being, let's give Echelon Bike users back access to what they bought and paid for. Email down below. Show me what you did. Let's make it happen. See you in the next one. Bye now. We also have the duty not to infringe the IP rights in the process. It is in fact the manufacturers who have the relevant rights, not consumers.